Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to explore on how to connect GoDaddy domain to Webflow. Let's begin. The first thing we need to do in order for us to connect or integrate GoDaddy domain to Webflow is to sign up for an account. If you haven't done so, all you're going to do is click on get started and here you can continue by using your work or business email address or if you have a google account why not use it to sign up for a free account after logging in to your webflow account now you need to go over to your godaddy account which is we're going to integrate now on the upper right corner of your profile click on all products and services okay now if you're still following as you can see from here click on domains now when you click on now when you go to the main go to the uh, right partner uh, right corner where it says manage all and click on that now from the godaddy dashboard you need to go down and hover down below where it says connect my site as you can see you can connect your domain automatically forward your domain to an existing website so there are multiple options for you to connect okay basically some people or um users reported that web webflow enables them to easily create responsive websites that look great on various devices including desktops tablets and smartphones now all you're gonna do is connect uh, click on connect my site and what will happen is as you can see you are given a lot of information or platforms that you can easily connect your godaddy account to these um, platforms all right but basically if you have the domain is already in use you will be given a, a, a notification window or notification uh message here all right so this domain is already in use and select a different destination will override the previous one okay now from here basically these are the websites where you can connect from some um Weebly, WeddingWire, Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, Eventbrite. So these are the platforms that you can integrate and connect with. Even to social sites such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, and even um, online stores such as Shopify, Etsy, eBay, and a lot more. Now, if for some reason you can't find Webflow here, that means you haven't integrated your Webflow account to your GoDaddy. Now, the next step for that to happen is we need to go over to our Webflow account. Now, I'm already here in my GoDaddy uh, Webflow account. Basically, from here, as you can see, these are the dashboard that I'm currently working on. So I have titled this um, template to how to connect GoDaddy domain to Webflow. And in the upper right corner for you to be able to successfully connect GoDaddy domain to Webflow, click on publish. So uh, there's an option here that says custom domain and add a custom domain. Click on that. Now, um, basically, before you can connect a domain on GoDaddy or from Webflow, you need to choose the uh, plans that would enable you to do so now right now i'm on my starter um plans which is a zero dollar per month but you need to upgrade to at least basic which is 14 dollars a month and these are the uh, pricing for uh, each of uh, individual plans now i'm using only website but if you are trying to access for the e-commerce sites that's going to be a different um pricing even on add-ons as well now for the website say for example you opted to upgrade to website you can see you can um use a custom domain it's all available for all these um upgraded plans but for the uh, starter plans you are not gonna make you're not gonna get a custom domain all right so say for example you chose the most popular which is upgrade to cms and then when you upgrade to uh, this kind of a plan you are well basically webflow will give you a certain uh, dns and custom domain and copy that now depending on webflow and which records they will give you sometimes they give you a uh, dns so 
all I'm gonna do is change that name servers. From here, click on change name servers. And whatever Webflow give you, use that and change it right here. Say, for example, I'll use my name servers. All right, something like this one, for example. All right, and use uh, these uh, Webflow given servers and click on save. Or even you can add a name server here. Now, after doing so, once you have done that, all you're going to do is click on save. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Um, Thank you so much for watching. If you have further comments or topics you would like us to cover in the future, let us know in the comments below. We will see you again in the next one.